Welcome to this lesson of Vedic Mathematics. Uh, we're going to learn today complements. So what are complements? Complements are numbers when added to another number, you get a whole number. What do I mean by that? So let's take, for example, 10 as a whole number. Um, we can also call 10 a base. So what do I mean by that? How does complements work? So let me work on some examples for you. Let's say a number when added to another number, you get the whole number. So our goal is to reach 10. So let's say number 3. When added to some number, we get 10. So we know 3 plus 7 we get 10. So a complement of 3 is 7. So likewise, within 10, we have multiple options. A complement of 1 is 9, 2 is 8, 3 is 7, 4 is 6. Likewise, if you go in reverse, you'll get of 6 is 4, 7 is 3, 8 is 2, 9 is 1. So this can also be done to larger numbers. Let's say, let's set up a, a new base. Um, let's say base is 100, right? So in this, a complement, let's look at 91 plus 100. As we all know, 91 plus 9, we get 100. So complement of 91 is 9 and 92 is 8, 93 is 7, again all leading to 100, likewise. Um, let's take a different number, a complement of 86. Okay, so now, if you're not very good at addition, this is where you run into issues. Um, what is the complement here? And that's exactly what the next chapter will help us uh, achieve, uh, find the differences. Uh, once we understand the concept of complements, mm. Uh, just for example, for, for this chapter, I'm just going to mention it right now here. It's 14, uh, if you have 83, 17, let's see if you have 64. This is 36. So as you can see, the difference a number when added to another number takes you to a whole number. Uh, as again, and like I said, we call this a base. And that's 
how we come across and find our compliments.